Let's have a quick look at the starting lineup. We begin with York Castle. The goalkeeper, Marco Thompson, Ahir Dixon, Tariq Jones, Damani Miller, Kemar Knox, Rashad Powery, Aden Wilberforce, Javon Mills, Earl Dennis, Travis Gordon, and Kevon Harris. They're coached by Vanny Clark. They line up as a 4 3 3. And so much is expected of this outfit from the parish of Senan. The captains, they greet each other and they greet the officiating party. Damani Miller, the captain for your castle and Malachi Douglas so much is has spoken about him for Clarendon College he is the skipper for Clarendon College Clarendon College let's have a quick look at the lineup Romeo Daniels, Akima Jones, Devante Hodges, Malachi Douglas, Christopher Hull, Atibo Green, Kahim Dixon, Marquez Reed, Theon Coopy, Adrian McNeil and Christoph Graham and they are coached by Lenworth Teacher Hyde who also coaches Newly promoted Premier League team charted with lots of rain. And your castle, a quick kick from the captain, Damani Miller. And Adrian McNeil trying to clear. Only place it high over Romeo Daniels in goal. And that was an own goal. Own goal. Clarendon College, they got in the game. And they tried their own offensive efforts. And they would be rewarded. But your castle, they would continue to strike from distance but they couldn't get any of those attempts on target. Powery here going to the near post. Romeo Daniels doing enough to hold it on in the end. But they would come forward. Marcus Reed, his effort there being stopped by Marco Thompson goal. But the goal would come at this moment. Wilberforce trying to clear defensive, defensively with a header, but it only came to Christopher Hull and he made no mistake from point blank range. Okino Jones sent one high and Devante Hodges in position. The towering player, the bulky player got the head on goal. 2-1 for Clarendon College. That's another look at it. Another attempt, but that was blocked by York Castle. Malachi Douglas trying to get on the end of that one and he too couldn't get it on target. Clarendon College now in the second half. They had some attempts. James Dixon here threw on goal. And look at what happened. The water in the goal area blocked the ball from going into the back of the net. He must feel cheated, unable to add to his tally for the season. He's had 11 so far this season. Could have been 12. But that strike didn't look too bad from Kevon Harris. And they also had a great chance here, York Castle. Header on from the substitute, Joanne de Clark, but a beautiful save from goalkeeper Daniels. Brought it out. That was the sports max at moment. And he was so disturbed, the York Castle coaching staff. They came again, York Castle, Clark again. And Hodges with a critical intervention there. Hull trying to play through. Hodges with a scissors kick. Got it on target, but safely in the arms of Marco Thompson in goal for your castle. Your castle will come again. This strike in the nine moments from Tyreek Jones, wide of the target. And that's all she wrote. Danian Parchment, the referee, saying he'd seen enough of this encounter. So here are the full time match statistics 12 shots, 6 on target for your castle, 14, 8 on target for Clarendon College. Split for fouls at nine apiece. One yellow card for York Castle, three for Clarendon College. Certainly not a bad encounter in terms of discipline, but some ill-timed challenges. Two offsides for Clarendon College, 13 corners to 11 for York Castle. Two saves for York Castle, three for Clarendon College. The lion's share of possession going to Clarendon College, 60 to 40. But the full-time score, Clarendon College two, York Castle high, one. And we're going to the MVP of the match. He's with Gerard. Thanks a lot, Dean. I've got the man of the match with me, Devontae Hodgins. Uh, you can hold on to that. Congratulations. Well done. And what do you think about your performance here today? Well, my performance was fairly well. Your team now, you're, 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 you've extended your, top of, your, your lead at the top of the table. Do you think you've been playing good football throughout this round? And can you do better? can do way better. 
this is nothing compared to on the training pitch. Work hard, very hard. Yeah, so you are a former player at Otterios High. Uh, you're meeting York Castle again. What, what's the, the rivalry like between them? Well, it's my former teammates. I have to go out there and do what I have to do, win. That's all. Yeah, congratulations to you, well done. Yeah.